tell us a little bit about your experience in the UK health system and um, what the original intentions were when they set it up and what the reality is now. My name is Dr. Helen Evans. I'm a nurse who has worked for over 20 years in the UK National Health Service. I have a lot of experience in many different specialities and I am also director of the uh, UK Healthcare Campaigning Group, Nurses for Reform. The UK healthcare system, the National Health Service, was set up in 1948 with the promise in a leaflet that was sent to every home in the country that all medical, dental um, and nursing care would be given to everyone, rich or poor. In reality, that's no longer happening. We are seeing a healthcare system that is rationing people's care by waiting lists, that is relying on people dying on waiting lists so that they don't have to have their care funded. We are seeing a system that gives over 10% of the patients that go into it healthcare-acquired infections. We are seeing over 40% of these people um, who have inpatient stays coming out who are clinically malnourished. We are seeing over 30 to 40 percent of patients in the UK not being able to get hold of NHS dentistry. We are seeing a system where um, many, many people are paying privately for their healthcare uh, through private medical insurance. We are seeing other families who are actually privately self-funding if one of their family needs an operation rather than wait on waiting lists and deteriorate. Families are clubbing together to pay medical costs privately. We are seeing many uh, thousands of people also going along the complementary routes, uh, osteopathy, chiropractors, uh, and funding private care that way. We have a government who are allegedly trying to, to work down our waiting lists, and they think it is good that somebody uh, will be seen within 18 weeks of referral to a specialist. Recently, during America, when America passed their stimulus uh, earlier in the year, funding was included for a Comparative Effectiveness Council. Can you tell us what the experience in the United Kingdom has been with Comparative Effectiveness Councils? The British Comparative Effectiveness Organisation is called the National Institute for Health and Clinical Excellence, um, also known as NICE. Um, a friend and colleague of mine refers to it as nasty, not available to treat yourself, because this, as all comparative, uh, comparative effectiveness organisations, is really a camouflage for government rationing. We're seeing um, people who have breast cancer, who are being refused uh, drugs that, that can work early in the disease. We're seeing people with uh, kidney cancers who are being told that the drugs are too expensive and there's not enough people who get this disease so it's not worth funding it. Uh, we are seeing people with multiple sclerosis who are... Um, being denied the drugs that they need. We are seeing other people who are told, well, if the first go with this treatment doesn't work, you're not having a second chance. So it is all about rationing. This is a body that is very secretive about its methodology and has actually put a price on human life. And if a treatment goes above a set price, then you are not having it. Helen, you've been on the front line of socialized medicine for years. What message would you give to Americans as we attempt to uh, reform our healthcare system in a European manner? I think one of the most important messages to get across is what I like to call the dialogue of the deaf between America uh, and Europe and the UK. Uh, many Europeans will tell you that America has a wholly private healthcare system, that if you don't have private health insurance in the uh, United States, you are left to die in the streets. Very few Europeans understand that the Americans have Medicare, Medicaid uh, and S-CHIP, which historically have had uh, a bigger budget than the Pentagon. What a lot of Americans don't understand is that despite the promises uh, of the NHS, people are not able to get the care that they need, that there are vast amounts of people who are using some sort of private health care, whether it be the insurances or whether it be self-funding. Um, again, there's a rumour that in America you go bankrupt, you have to sell your house if you can't afford to pay for the care 
you need. Well, in truth, this is happening in the UK. Uh, pensioners, elderly people are having to sell their houses to use up all their savings. They are losing everything to, to have to pay for their health care, despite the promises of the NHS that all care will be given to everyone.